what, what is the basic problem with the structure of the graph as it stands at the moment? Well, at the moment, it's you can produce these graphs in different ways. You can produce them either using lines or with bars. And we find that students particularly struggle with the ones where, that are produced as, as lines. Right. Because the lines that attract as, um, attention and just brings people to, to look at the, the variables here. Mm -hmm. but, but because these lines hover over, over the x-axis variable here, mm -hmm. the students ignore it. They tend to not be able to relate the information in this axis to the points on the ends of the lines. So they just become, they get a really incorrect or partial understanding of the graph. Right. So we've carried out a number of experiments and a number of different designs to try and produce different graphs so that students also, students are able to understand them a lot better. So it's been a very successful uh, project really. It's um, the, the new designs that we're using and the new um, uh, the new uh, sets of instructions that we've, we've produced are being used now um, to, to teach students how mm -hmm. to use them better. Would you be able to apply this to anything else then? You've, you, you've started with graphs. Uh, are there any other types of uh, image, if you like? Well, we, yes, we can use the ideas that we've gleaned from this information to try and then sort of broaden it out, because these are quite specific graphs. But when you try and then, what we're trying to do is then apply it to more graphs more generally mm -hmm. and to see what cognitive and visual principles apply when people use graphs in general.